Wow, hello from Saxony, Switzerland. We are on a little holiday. We come here every time. Well, not to this place, but to this area. Um, we are on a little holiday with um, my friend Maya, us and the kids and her kids and her husband, and it's going to be good. So we had made our way to Saxon, Switzerland, an area in the free state of Saxony, where I am from, bordering onto the Czech Republic. We would be staying here for the next three nights. We booked into two little rooftop apartments right next to each other in the small village of Lichtenhain. I was looking forward to spending a few days with my friend and her family in a beautiful setting. There was a big garden surrounding our house and to Izzy's and Clara's delight there was even a big trampoline. It was nice having the first evening just at home. It all looked and felt pretty peaceful. The kids were playing nicely and the weather was just wonderful. Here we are. Izzy is now going to bed. And then I'm going to put Clara to bed as well. And then tomorrow we have our first full day here in Bad Schandau in Saxony, Switzerland. Do you like it here so far? Yeah. All right, we're going to read a book now. A German one I bought. It's called Der Grolltroll. All right. Say bye bye. Bye bye. I says Grandma. Oh, Grandma will watch this too. You want to say good night, Grandma? Good night, Grandma. <laughs> Is she also watching yeah, it? She will be watching it. Bye. Bye. It is a beautiful morning, like the view from my window here is just wonderful. Um, my friend Manya, Mario, the kids and I, we are now going down to Bajana, which is only 10 kilometers away and it's right down by the river. So that's our morning plan and um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Clara, come on, we want to get dressed. Come on. Let's go. Yeah, you can take a book. Did you have a good little sleep? Yeah, you did? I think I can hear Izzy. Isabella. Push. There we go. Hello. Hello. Good morning. I love you. Morning. You want to show everyone your belly? Yeah. Show us. Where's your belly? <laughs> she loves her belly and her belly button. So much so that she fills with it so much it's already gone red. That's a steam Bar Chandao lies right on the western flanks of the national park and the Elbe River forms the valley through an intensively fissured and rocky canyon landscape. Due to recent wildfires and four little people on this trip, we weren't really able to do any hiking here like we used to, but we all did enjoy a little stroll along the river, taking in beautiful views while stopping at playgrounds and little meadows for Izzy to pick some flowers. Look at that, someone's waking up really early this morning and now can't wake her up. Just put on her shoes and everything. And she is just completely out of it. We've come to Siebnitz, next little town, um, because the car key stopped working and I need a new battery. And we're going to do a bit of shopping and have a quick little look around. And this one just does not wake up. It's um, unheard of. Oh, bless her. We got the car key fixed and provisioned for a games night once the kids had gone to bed. To help them into a peaceful slumber, we finished the day with a popular kids bedtime show called The Sandman. The next morning saw us explore a bit more of the region. 
we have come to the botanical garden and already started with a snack break. <laughs> it was actually surprisingly nice here. The kids enjoyed climbing the steep hills along winding paths, looking for ferries along the way and we learned that the Saxon Switzerland National Park is quite a unique place as its special forms of mountain and gorge forests are actually endangered in Europe. Clara also enjoyed herself there, but she was even more excited about my friend Manja's husband Mario, whom she called Mayo, and had really taken a liking to. Mayo. Well, this was actually quite Mayo. pretty. Mayo. And now we're Mayo. going to Mayo. Um, go on a little kernish to have a little tram going Mayo. up the little valley. Mayo. Mayo, yeah, we're going to see him now. Come. But just in case you've missed it because of Clara's constant demand for Mayo, we were now going to go on the Kirnitsch Taiwan, a little tramway particularly liked by hikers as every single stop marks the start of a new hiking trail. It was pretty busy on the tram and whilst I was standing, Izzy found a spot to sit with two older ladies chatting away to them as if she'd always known them. The tram took us eight kilometers upstream, the little creek Kirnitsch, winding through beautiful forests I wished I could have hiked through myself. But our aim was the final stop where a little waterfall was waiting to be explored. Now, we went all the way up to the final stop. We are at the waterfalls, but I think it might have been damaged in the floods. So we'll see what we can see. There we go, that's the waterfall behind us, but it got destroyed in the recent floods. So they had to rebuild it. Also, there were the fires. So it's just um, a non-attraction. <laughs> It didn't matter though, the kids seemed to enjoy the train ride more than anything anyway and I liked looking out the window just watching the scenery. A plan formed in my head. Once back at our accommodation, Mark and I decided that we would try and go on a little hike in the forest as soon as Clara has had a nap. We were both really looking forward to it. It is already the evening. We did do an outing in the afternoon, but it went horrendously wrong. Um, we thought, you know, we'd leave after Clara's nap. She'll be nice and rested, have a bit of a drive. Maybe Izzy has a little nap on the drive, and then we'll just stop somewhere in the forest and um, go for a walk. Um, the first part of the plan, that's exactly what we did. We, Izzy fell asleep in the car. We drove around for maybe 20 minutes so she could have a bit of a nap. And then we stopped at the forest, tried to get in for a walk, and Izzy just lost it. But not just a little bit, like she just lost, lost, lost it. Um, and there was no way to stop it. None. We didn't even know what was wrong. Um, so we went back to the car and drove home. <laughs> so we are exhausted um, slightly annoyed <laughs> and a bit unhappy about how this all turned out, but um, the morning was nice at least. The last morning came all too soon. I really wished we could have explored more, but for now we had to pack up and leave this place. Bye bye, holiday home. Bye bye, bye bye. Have to take the rubbish. There's the man of my dreams. Looking fresh, rested, and ready for another adventure. <laughs> But before putting the kids in the car for the drive back home, we all went for a walk just to give them the opportunity to burn off some energy. Here we are. We are out on the hunt for... What are we looking for, Is? The witch's tree. The witch's tree. There's a tree here, apparently. That is full of little witches. So we're going to have a little look. That is our last little adventure. And then we're driving back home to Chemnitz. <laughs> What do we find here? What is it? A cat. Yeah. Hey. Uh, won't be making it to the witch's tree. Um, because it's too far. But it doesn't matter. It's nice here anyway. And we are all gonna say goodbye, Saxon Switzerland. It's been nice and um, we'll see you again next time. 
Sa bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. See ya.